What's going on everyone? I'm Amedio602 and as you can see on the screen here, I've got a little bit of stick drift going on and I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. This works in pretty much any Call of Duty game that's recent. This option was added with Modern Warfare 2019. It's also present in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Vanguard, as well as the new Warzone Caldera map. So if you're playing any of those and you've got a stick drift issue, watch this video and this is going to show you how to set the perfect stick drift for your system. As you can see here, I'm using a PS4 controller with the back button attachment. And by the way, back button attachment, I've got a review on the channel. Great attachment if you're still using PS4 or a PS4 controller on PC. Works great, super affordable. Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. So if you pull up your tack map, you can see right now, I'm not touching either of these sticks, right? But Yet my, my tack map is moving around and sometimes if you ADS, you can notice that your, your character, I'm, I'm moving around right now, I'm trying to get it to, uh, to be really obvious in game here for you, but sometimes you'll notice your character either kind of walking to the side or your aim just sort of drifting kind of like this and I'm, I'm actually doing that right now, but sometimes that'll happen in game and that is an example of stick drift. Oh, you can see it right now, right now, look at that. I am not touching the controller anywhere but my character is, is kind of spinning on his own. And that's not a good thing. That's definitely gonna trash your accuracy. Uh, if I just hold in the ADS button here, you can see that is not idle sway. That's not normal. That's not supposed to happen. That will definitely get you killed. Definitely lose, lose your gunfights. It's, it's really bad right now with this controller. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. All you need to do, and the easiest way I've found to fix it is just grab any old USB mouse and plug that into your system. Personally, I've got a Logitech G502, and I've got that plugged into the system, and I'm using the controller, not the mouse, but it doesn't matter. All you need to do is pull up the options menu, and notice in the options menu, I can still use my mouse here. And under options, right now, if you look if you look as I move the mouse around, the L1 and R1 buttons are showing up, and, and various places on the screen, you can see the controller buttons are popping up. And by the way, this does work on PlayStation. I haven't tested it on Xbox, so let me know in the comments below if you try this on Xbox, whether it works or not. It definitely works on PS4, it definitely works on PC. And all you need to do is under your controller, if, if you can even get to controller, uh, you may have to push L1, R1 to get there. What you wanna look for is this left and right stick min input dead zone. And this is probably what's causing your problem. You can see my dead zone right now is zero, which is why the game thinks that I'm moving the sticks around because even when you're not touching the sticks, they're moving around ever so slightly. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the smallest possible value here that works well and stops, stops that stick drift. Now, let me show you what happens real quick if these values are too high. So these are really high values. Notice my menu isn't doing the weird L1, R1 and all the buttons now, but if you watch this, look at how far I have to move the stick, and I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna pick this up, but yeah, you can see right there, I'm, I'm moving the stick and it's not moving on the screen. So that's because my dead zone is really high right now. And you can see over here, this other stick is, is kind of the same way. I'm, I'm moving it. See how far I have to move that to even get the character to run? Okay, so that's not good either. So what you want is you want the dead zone that is one past where you're seeing the problems. And this is similar to a lot of other things. It's, it's actually kind of close to overclocking in principle. But the idea here is we are going to use this, this weird graphics glitch that we just saw. You can see it's, it's coming back right now. We're gonna use this to figure out the dead zone for this controller on this system. And it's really easy to do. Uh, without touching the joystick at all, you, just, you, you wanna keep moving the mouse kind of left and right to keep over the selection. Just push left and right on the D-pad to adjust this number. And you can see right now, uh, with, with a value of 0 0.02, I still see the L1, R1, but not very often. Oh, there, it just did it right there. So a 0 0.02 is really close. I'm gonna hit right on the D-pad one more time to change it to 0 0.03. And now it looks like this is gone for the left stick. For the right stick, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna set this value all the way to zero and notice we've we've got our buttons back. So with the mouse over right stick, we're just gonna keep kind of moving back and forth, left and right. I'm just pressing right on the D-pad. And right here around 0 0.03, you can see it's, it's totally gone. And we're gonna go back into the game and we're gonna test for it again. 
And the easiest way to do that for the right stick is to just pull up the tack map. And you can see that we've still got just a little bit of drift here. So it's not so much drift that you can see it on this screen, but it is going to impact you on the tack map. So we're just gonna go one past that on the right stick here to 0 0.04. And now our tack map doesn't do that. You can see here, as, as soon as I start moving the stick here, it moves on the tack map. And as long as it doesn't drift around when you let go of the button, and you, you might have to try this a few times, uh, then that's gonna be the best dead zone setting for this controller for the right stick. For the left stick, it's a little bit different. You're gonna need to move around. And again, as long as your character isn't really moving, it's not registering anything on that stick. But the thing that you wanna make sure is that your sprint works as you expect. So right now I'm not slide canceling or doing any advanced movement, I'm just sprinting forward. And you just wanna make sure that that feels nice and crisp. Your values might be the same. They might be like mine and just off by one, off by two. Um, that doesn't really matter if they're the same or not. You could increase this to 0 0.04. There's not really a big difference there. You're not gonna notice any difference. But if you do notice anything wrong with your sprinting, then double check this, this dead zone. You can see right now with a dead zone of zero, I can still move and I can sprint and everything just fine but every once in a while you might notice in a gunfight your, your character just drifting a little bit, a little bit. So I like to keep that value that we found in the menus for the left stick and I like to keep the value from the tack map for the right stick. And now you can see our drift is gone. Move the stick, move the stick, we'll let go of the stick just like before. You can see as, as soon as the stick starts to move, the gun starts to move and that's what you want. You don't want that dead zone that's too big where you have to really be moving the stick really far and you don't want it to be too small and move by itself. Don't forget to like the video if I helped you fix your stick drift today and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. And as always, thank you very much for watching.